What is up, guys? Welcome to the first crypto channel, the most savage during crypto channel out there. My name is Chaos Chris, and I'll be your host today. I promise you to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and turn on notifications so we keep you guys up to date with the latest, greatest news and information in the space. With that being said, let's hop right in this video. As always, we got another banger video for you guys today. Cryptocurrency doesn't sleep, and neither do we. We're going to talk about a really cool altcoin gem. It's called Storex, and it's launching on the XDC blockchain. So definitely stay tuned to this end of this video so I can give you guys my overall thoughts on whether or not this project can be sustainable in the long term. Keep in mind, this is not financial advice. This video is for entertainment education purposes only. Please do your own research. Everything I talk about in this video is my sole opinion. I am not the person who is doing the investments. You are. If you win in this space, it's because you won. If you lose in this space, it's because you lost. I want to keep that clear. So enough talking. Let's get into the full detail, juicy analysis. If you guys want to check out StoreX, go over to StoreX.Tech, and it'll pop up this beautiful UI. And the first thing when I look at this UI, it's it, it looks like a company. It looks like a brand. It looks like something that's trying to sell a product but they're moving their whole business model onto a blockchain, aka the future of blockchain technology. As I've said in many videos in the past, cryptocurrency is only a tenth of a percent of what blockchain technology is. The rest of blockchain technology will be storage, business development, AI, machine learning, anything you can think of that includes a real world use case asset will be put onto a blockchain. Part of the reason why a lot of companies and individuals want to do this is number one. Number one, it's decentralized. It means that anybody can go on, check out the code. There's not one centralized entity controlling the information and also increases transparency between businesses and the individual. Right now we have a lot of greedy centralized companies and they're taking advantage of the system. And a lot of people are upset. This is our gateway to create a level playing field across the entire financial system and any industry you can think of. So there's a bigger picture behind cryptocurrency besides being a degenerate and making money. Don't get me wrong. I'm a, I'm a degenerate. I made plenty of money, but um, overall, you know, for the betterment of our, of our entire world and species, we need to focus on what the main end goal is. So, Storex. What is Storex? Um, to put in very simplistic terms, it is a storage coin. Probably one of the biggest storage coins that you guys know about is Filecoin. And the idea is um, basically if you have data, records, anything that you can think of, you can take it and store it through one of these project protocols. It goes onto the blockchain and using your keys that you own or your company owns, they can access that information and you can use it whenever you need to. One of the benefits of using this access is only you can access that information. There's no centralized interest and it lives on a blockchain, which lives on top of the internet. So if it's in a little file cabinet at your house and your house burns down, you lose all that information. Now, if it's on the blockchain, and you still have the keys to your wallet, you can still access this information. On top of that, with these storage coins, you can also rent out space on your computer to run a node that will uh, store some of this data and you can earn tokens doing it. Um, it's not called proof of storage, but that's what I like to call it. But basically you're renting, you're using your computer to um, give out storage for other uses for businesses, individuals, or whatnot. And if it just sits there all day, you just keep running this node, you're basically making free money by just owning a computer. So we'll, we'll get into that a little bit later. That's that, that's a really cool application behind this project. So starting off, StoreX, distributed cloud storage powered by XDC blockchain network. The StoreX mainnet is here and the SRX, which is the main token of this project, it's an XRC20 utility token that powers StoreX data storage marketplace. Set up node and earns SRX and store data and pay using SRX token. So as I said earlier, you can set up a node and then you can pay to use that node using the SRX token. And if you operate the node, then you can earn passive income. 
Truly decentralized cloud storage. Storex helps you secure, encrypt, fragment, and then distribute important data across multiple hosting nodes spread worldwide. Storex provides a democratic marketplace for hosting data, replacing the centralized intermediaries with a decentralized blockchain network. Exercise complete control and grant access of your data without any centralized intermediary. Excuse me, can't talk today. So you have these nodes all across the world that are used to store this data. Now, the reason why um, this project uses this approach is because if one of the nodes is compromised, not every single node is going to be compromised. Keep in mind, Storex is very similar to um, the consensus uh, mechanism behind the XTC blockchain, where they use something called a business fault tolerance, where if the majority of the nodes approve a transaction or approve an action through the blockchain, then it will get approved regardless of bad actors. So by having a bunch of nodes all across the world. Um, this ensures that will be remain completely decentralized and not one single company will have one node just operating, controlling all the transactions across the blockchain or the or just the basic project. In this case, StoreX, which uses a storage node. Now, coming down here, um, basically you can come down here and right off the bat, you can get two gigabytes of storage. So if you're a student and you want a place to, uh, put your stuff up onto a cloud, two free gigabytes right there, put up a report, put up a model. If you're an engineer, put up whatever you need and just put it in there. And it's on the blockchain. Nobody can access by yourself. Let's say you're a small business and you don't want to spend a bunch of money using Amazon cloud services. I'm not really sure how much uh, they charge you, but I heard it's very pricey. Well, you can come over to StoreX and pay 10 SRX tokens to get 20 gigabytes. And to give you guys an idea, 10 XRX tokens, that's not even a dollar. All right, it's like 18, 18 cents. So you pay 18 cents a month to get 20 gigabytes worth of storage. And then it goes all the way up to 40. So the highest one, was that like 50 cents? Oh, 73 cents. Math is off today. So basically, as of right now, where the token's sitting at, um, you can use something called cloud storage. And the idea of cloud storage is something that Amazon has done a lot of work with the federal government. Um, basically, businesses don't store all of their information onto one centralized drive within their company. What they end up doing is basically taking their information and store it onto a cloud so that if that drive gets compromised, if it gets shut down, you have the cloud. And cloud lives on top of the internet and that information stays there. Now, the issue is when that uh, information or files are stored on top of the internet, you also need places to store it into real world assets like computers and drives and whatnot. So, Basically, what StoreX is doing is they're creating the Amazon uh, cloud service onto a blockchain. And this is going to be a really big competitor against Amazon. And this is something you definitely want to keep your eye on, especially when they're going for a market that could be worth um, a couple billion. Let's actually take a look at that. How much is cloud storage industry worth? All right, so it's $71 billion. So when it comes to cloud storage, it is $71 billion. And then I read something can get as high as $369 billion by the end of the decade. So there's so much potential behind this. And we'll, we'll get a little bit more into uh, the full technical analysis behind the price and comparing it to whatnot. So... How does this work? So users upload a file to a StoreX network. The file will get encrypted. It means it can't be replicated, it can't be uh, duplicated. And then basically that file gets split into pieces and, and store files across multiple storage farm servers worldwide. So basically you get the file, it's encrypted so it can't be tracked or traced. And then it's split into pieces and transported across all the nodes that are running across the world through the XCC blockchain. And while those pieces are across the entire world, it makes it very hard to, it makes it very difficult to hack. And if you were to hack one of the nodes, you would only get a small piece of the file. You will not get the entire file. And so the idea is it makes it um, 
hacker resistant, and also it makes it untrackable or untraceable in case someone, in case a centralized interest wants to get their uh, hands into whatever you have. So it's definitely a, a very useful uh, tool and application to have. Now, there's a great little video right here where um, they go over decentralized uh, storage. I'll let you guys just look at that yourself um, if you want to get a better understanding of what StoreX is. So everything is completely 100% open source. Whatever StoreX does, it you can go check out on GitHub. Um, they do not want to do any sort of sketchiness where there's backdoor keys to... Um, um, the project, there's no rug pull or whatever. This is a legit project. And then also community development. StoreX wants to develop a really great community and they understand that community is the number one driver in the cryptocurrency space. Now, some um, partnerships they have right now. They have XDC, which we're going to cover later on, Mobi, ITFA, and Gemma. And they're probably going to get more and more people on board as uh, partners. Um. So kind of coming up here, coming over here to uh, the um, the store data tab, it's pretty easy. You can create an account and then you can start storing your data. Keep in mind um, from the first page, they had um, um, prices they have to do. So, you know, for the entry level, it's, it's just 10 store X tokens, which is only like 18 cents a month, which is absolutely um, definitely a good deal. That price is going to go up over time. So keep in mind that uh, you can get a good good deal right now. But if you want to use this in the future, definitely buy some of these tokens. Now, you can come over here and host a node. And so the little breakdown of, of what a node is. So the storage man is here. You can put your unused disk space to work. Get paid to build the future of cloud storage. Join today or an SRX. Become a node farmer on the storage network and contribute towards a new decentralized, secure, private, and affordable internet. Get rewarded if your efforts and investments by earning SRX tokens. So I already covered this before. Um, some requirements are, you know, you have to have one press processor core, minimum of one terabyte, minimum of 10 terabytes for bandwidth, minimum upload speed of 25 megabytes per second, download speed 25 meg megabytes per second, and ensure the node is available 24-7. I'll probably get into this a little bit later. I might do a video on it, but um, right now I don't have the time to set this up. But since StoreX hasn't gone mainstream yet, this is the time to start looking into this project if you're interested, because the tokens are extremely cheap. And also, it's really not that difficult to set up a uh, node. You have to get a really powerful, powerful computer. But if you're earning these StoreX tokens as a uh, node operator, you could probably pay it back. Now, farm node staking requirements. With farm storage node set, farmers have to stake SRX token. Minimum as per increment month and maximum of 1 million XRX tokens can be staked. Acquire tokens from exchanges or by referring StoreX to your friends or earn as a bounty. So, come here to store data. Um, they have a community bounty where um, if they find any sort of bugs, Within the program, you can earn some money. So any of you developers, definitely check that out. And then they also have community support. You can go into Reddit. You can go on, on to Discord and get any more information you need. So coming back to the front page, um, it's a very simple project to understand. All it is is just storage. And they're going to continue to develop this going on into the future. Now, I want to show you guys some other projects that are in this space and compare it to Storex. So we got Filecoin. And then we got um, storage. So Filecoin is a hot storage coin. It's very similar to Storex, but it's mainly on the Ethereum blockchain. Now, if we go over here to market cap, kind of at the peak of the bull market, Filecoin was sitting at about $12 billion. Now, right now, it's down to about $5.09. So, and the market cap's about like 1.5 billion. Now, StoreX. If we take a look at the market cap, this launched kind of right in the middle of the bull market. And the market cap was only sitting at about $12 million. So, definitely really small. And it's been kind of decreasing ever since. Um, like I said, it is definitely a baby project. So right now we are sitting at $5 million market cap. So if I come over here 
to my calculator. Let's say we start, let's say we go from 13 billion. Actually, let's just do this. Let's just Google. So we'll do 13 billion divided by 5 million. 2,600. So let's just, let's, let's just do some base, basic math real quick. I, I want to get this up. So let's just do some basic math. So we have 100, we have 500, and we'll say 1,000. So this is typically retail. Um, these are typically retail investment values. So 2,600. So if I take this and then multiply, apply this by 2,000, 600 and let's say we're, we buy star x now and we get to the top of the bull market in 2025 you will have just off of a hundred dollar investment 260 260 thousand dollars and then with a 500 dollar investment it'll be 1.3 million with a thousand dollar investment it'll be 2.6 million so you can kind of see the power behind this token. If it were to do the same market numbers as Filecoin, or if it were to do the same same market numbers as um, storage, which I believe it got up as high as like half a billion. So the idea is a $5 million market cap is not that big. And the fact that this project has some room to grow, it's on a phenomenal blockchain that's considered third generation right behind the Ethereum blockchain. There is so much potential behind Store X. And also, you know, this concept of being a node operator and earning passive income by just having a supercomputer or a gaming computer, that's a huge game changer because for, for most of you guys who can't get into ADA pools, you can't get into being a a node operator on like the polka dot network this might be your opportunity to run a node through a project that is getting into cloud storage has a great use case scenario and you can earn some awesome passive income while helping people um store their files away onto the blockchain so guys um that's it for the video today in my opinion storex has so much potential this is a project you, you should look at and definitely you know check out because there's a great potential that store X can do numbers next bull market. And before I wrap this video up, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and turn on bell notifications so we keep you guys up to date with the latest, greatest news and information in the space. My name is Chaos Chris. I love every, every single one of you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.